I'm really excited about the expansion of gospel interviews here at OHAM. All of these are uh, a complement to the work that, that Braxton Shelley has been doing. Uh, he, he started uh, an institute for music in the black church through the Institute of Sacred Music. And he taught a class last, last semester called the Gospel Imagination. He uh, had a number of students and each of the students um, learned a little bit about oral history techniques from, from me. And um, they actually went after the symposium, this extraordinary symposium called In the Sanctuary that he had last spring. Um, they followed up and they, they interviewed these various uh, major figures in gospel music. When I uh, view these, these interviews, I am just blown away by what these people are, are saying. It, it, it's, uh, these are people who are at the real sort of, uh, you know, major figures in, 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 uh, in gospel music right now. The person who's the pastor of uh, Ebenezer Baptist Church, currently Raphael Warnick's church, and previously Martin Luther King's church. These are people who are, are, are really touching the, the heartbeat of, of, uh, of this black spirituality, and, and it's so connected with the music. that um, The other thing that we try to do at OHIM is to document figures who uh, need to have that kind of attention, Doc, perhaps figures that have not been very uh, widely uh, documented. And I think in the case of these gospel figures, it, it's a, a very major contribution. I've been listening to the interviews uh, that have been, they're mostly on video, but I listen because I'm, I'm, that's, I'm an auditory kind of person. Um, anyway, uh, and what these people have to say is, extraordinary, very moving, sometimes uh, of great importance in terms of social history, uh, racial history, um, uh, for people who are interested in spirituality and certainly spirituality and music and how they intersect, which I'm very deeply interested in. It's mind-blowing what some of these people are saying. And um, I'm just so thrilled to have the opportunity to, to preserve their words for, for the future.